Hey guys, this is Malingi. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malingi. Today we will talk about structure of nucleic acids. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So there are two types of nucleic acids: DNA and RNA. The full form of DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid, and the full form of RNA is ribonucleic acid. These two nucleic acids are composed of nucleotides. Nucleotides are basically made up of a sugar, a phosphate group, and a nitrogen as base. The sugar is five carbon sugar. That means it has five carbons. So the five carbon sugar is ribose in case of RNA. This is the ribose sugar. One, two, three, four, five. Five carbons are there, and the sugar is two prime deoxyribose in case of DNA. So the difference between ribose and deoxyribose is at carbon number two, the OH is missing in case of deoxyribose. Instead of OH or hydroxyl group, it has only hydrogen atom. The oxygen is not there. That's why this is called two prime deoxyribose. Oxygen is deleted. Deoxyribose. And why two prime? Since this is the carbon number two, and here is the hydrogen atom, where from oxygen is deleted okay so this is all about the ribose and deoxyribose sugar next nitrogen as base so adenine guanine cytosine thymine uracil these five are the nitrogen as bases so adenine and guanine are basically purines and cytosine thymine and uracil are pyrimidines so here are the structures you can find the structures if you want so dna contains adenine guanine cytosine and thymine whereas rna contains adenine guanine cytosine and uracil that means adenine guanine and cytosine are common in rna and dna in dna Instead of uracil, thymine is present, and in RNA, instead of thymine, uracil is present. Okay, now uh, we can call it a nucleoside when the sugar and nitrogenous base are attached, just like this. Here is the ribose or deoxyribose sugar, and here is the base, A or T or G or C or U. So, in between this base and sugar, the bond is the glycosidic bond, and we can call it a nucleoside. Once the phosphate group is also attached with the nucleoside, we can call it nucleotide. Okay, here is the list. So, uh, in case of RNA. For the nitrogenous base adenine, the nucleoside is adenosine, and the nucleotide is adenylate. For C, the nucleoside is cytidine, and nucleotide is cytidylate. For G, the nucleoside is guanosine, and the nucleotide is guanylate. For uracil, the nucleoside is uridine, and the nucleotide is uridylate. In case of DNA. For A, the nucleoside is deoxyadenosine, and the nucleotide is deoxyadenylate. So the deoxy word is attached. Deoxy prefix is attached over here since it is DNA. And for cytosine, the nucleoside is deoxycytidine, and the nucleotide is deoxycytidylate. For G, the nucleoside is deoxyguanosine. And the nucleotide is deoxyguanylate. For T, the nucleoside is 
deoxythymidine and the nucleotide is deoxythymidylate. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.